Welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today, we're going to go through how to build out a content plan for your online coaching Instagram. Okay. We're going to focus on Instagram because that's where most people will have the most success. Um, obviously there's other platforms, but we're going to focus on Instagram. So if you are an online coach that wants to grow your business, make sure you stay tuned. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification so you get notified when we do more videos. And we're going to walk through that content plan now. Okay, so when you are building your content plan, you need to think about A, frequency, okay, B, format, and then C, what we're actually going to put into the pillars of that content, okay? So first of all, frequency. There's an argument for this. However, I recommend that most coaches, especially when you're starting out, just post six times a week on Instagram, okay? You don't need to post every single day. I would say six times a week is enough. Um, and what I would do is just make sure that on top of that, you're adding extra value into your stories. Okay. So although you may do one feed post a day, you may do five to seven stories that go along with that, that show kind of what's going on in your day to day and also share stuff around your content. So that's what you need to look at for posting frequency. I've seen people do more. It can be successful. The problem is with a lot of starting coaches, when they try and post two and three times a day, they don't have the production to actually pull that off. So they end up missing stuff. And the second thing that happens is they kind of water down their message. All right. They don't end up getting the key themes across because they're just trying to pump out volume. If you are solely thinking about growing an audience, if you want to blow up on Instagram, then maybe you might want to adopt this tactic. But if you're looking at generating relationships and making sales, then you really need to think about the themes of the messaging that you're getting across. The second thing we're going to talk about, okay, is the type of posts that you do. Now, Instagram will generally, okay, favor certain video types, but this platform changes all the time and they will decide on a monthly basis, realistically, what they're going to push. My advice would be to make sure that you've got broad types of content, okay? So you are doing some video content, you are doing some written content, and you are doing some like infographic carousel style content, okay? If you can nail all of those things, you will have a very well-balanced content plan that will speak to different people. It will have your face on it enough. It will give enough valuable information, all right? And that for me would be a standard way of starting. Now, everyone's audience is different and everyone's skill set's different. So it's after 30 days, you're realizing that certain posts do extremely well and other posts maybe are not. Then you can start to look at maneuvering this around, but that would be a good place to start on to the pillars of the content, okay? You are going to realistically look at three pillars of content that you want. You want content that's for engagement, all right? You want content that people want to share, things that may draw in new eyes, okay? You want things that people find entertaining. You want things that's easily digestible, so they want to follow your profile, okay? The second thing you want to deliver is value, this needs to be something that is really helpful for your target market. It needs to kind of give them a bit of a light bulb moment, give them something actionable that they can put in. They need to look at you as an authority in this space. And for them to look at you as an authority, you're going to need to be able to help them move forward for free. So the advice that you give on Instagram needs to be extremely good. All right. If you do too much engagement content, yes, you might get lots of viewers. Yes, you might get lots of likes, but that's just people in the top of a funnel. And I know people with hundreds of thousands of followers that make absolutely zero money because all they're focused on is engagement and they're not focused on building that authority with the audience. Okay. So engagement, then authority, you know, giving value. The final thing you want to do is stuff that's built around sales. Now you could do this a few different ways. The easiest way for a coaching program to do this is to show results of your program. Okay. So show them what you do whether that's a client result, whether that's a testimonial, whether that's a behind the scenes kind of thing of a client win, whatever that looks like for your business, sharing your client results is the best kind of sales because it's like validating the work that you do, okay? It shows that you are actually the person that you say you are and that you can get the job done that you are say you are going to do. So following this up with some kind of call to action, Relaying that into your stories and asking people if they're willing to be part of the program, okay, would be a great way to start making sales through your Instagram. So if you are posting six times a week, realistically, you would look at maybe two or three engagement style posts, okay, two or three value style posts, um, and then maybe one sales post, 
per week. That's a good ratio to think. If you are ever in any doubt, definitely go down the value route. Okay. Make sure you have at least one sales post a week, and then you can kind of play around with the rest and see which works best for you. But without giving you a totally rigid content plan, if you follow those systems and you follow those principles, you will have a good content plan. The only other thing that you need to add into that is obviously make sure that it's relevant to your target market by using the information you know about them. So if you pair that structure and that framework with the ideas that you have about your target market and the knowledge you have as a coach, you'll be in a very, very good place. Okay. So if you are struggling with content at all, if you're unsure, don't forget to give us a message at Fitness Business Unit on Instagram. We can help you out a little bit. Other than that, go and get that implemented over the next couple of weeks or so and let us know how you get on.